Good morning everyone. Today I'm going for a walk. It's winter time and the grasses are all dried and covered with frost. As you could see from my last vlogs that I was uh, overweight and very fat after going to Tserang and now I'm going for a walk. Since I enjoyed a lot at Tserang and I put on a lot of weight, now I'm going for a walk and it's still 5 a.m. in the morning. I had been enjoying a lot and now it's time to work on my body and it is still isn't uh, properly bright still a little bit of dark still then i'm going for a walk since it's 5 a.m in the morning and see you can see a lot of my vehicles parked here and there are not much of vehicles passing by i hope i don't encounter dogs out here because they could be very territorial and then they could attack me so let's pray that I don't encounter any dogs. So at this moment we cannot find anybody around here apart from people who goes to morning walks and jogging. So I just came across few of them and they were heading back from up. Well, we have reached Anim Darsang and you can see the incense burning. Well guys, I just spotted a family of wild pigs around here. They were right there in the forest and before I could take out my camera, they all ran away. And what else have we got here? It says Green Bhutan Project. And uh, let's see, let's enter in and see what's here. There are some saplings planted. And let's enjoy the scenario from here. It's a beautiful scenario. guys i almost got bitten by these dogs out here they were running towards me all of a sudden and i acted as if i was picking a stone and then they all went back and i'm doing a little bit of jogging here
well guys this is the furthest point i had come during the summer for a walk and i was wondering whether to head uphill towards the Takin zoo Takin preserve and then i was wondering out here whether to continue or return back but then suddenly it started raining and then i got drenched with rain and I was all, you know, my clothes all, it got all wet and then I returned home. Luckily my mobile was safe because my jacket happened to be uh, waterproof. So this is a very un unforget unforgettable point and it was my first and last walk during the summertime and hope uh, today I can continue a journey. I mean the walk. Well, guys, uh, this purple diet dog almost bit me until I acted as if I was picking a stone and he went back. And from here, this is the shortcut to Motitang. I have got some work, some gas to be withdrawn from the ATM. So I'm heading from here and this is the shortcut. I have to cross a small stream, a small bridge out there and I'll be there at Motitang. bridge with the stream and then I will be at Motang. Ahead of here is veterinary hospital so if you have got dogs and cats pets bring here. Well here you can see the dogs chasing a car a bolero. And here we have what we have a small motor downtown. You can see the pigeons. There's the ATM, Druk PNB, and there's a pharmacy out here. But none of the shops are open currently. This is the veterinary hospital. And let me go upwards because the ATM is right up there. Well guys, I just went to the ATM, withdrew my rent, it's sunrise now and I'm heading down, going back home. news now the dogs are coming out a gang of dogs barking from here and there and there are lots of gangs here so i think i cannot pass through this way now because the dogs are all around and look at the dogs here Thank you. big ones Look at the size of these ones. They're very, very big. And they can, I, I think they can, uh, they can take out 10 kgs of your meat all in one bite. 
I don't know what people feed them. I think they eat around <laughs> 10 kilos of rice at once. Well, I don't think I can pass through this way now because this area is all surrounded by dogs and if I go close to them, I may get bitten and attacked. So I think I have to change my direction now. Look at the dogs. There are two of them, the big ones. And I'm heading upwards now. I'll, I have to go a longer way. And that's the park in my left hand side. Children's Park of Motitang. And then the sun is rising now. And this is a kind of small chorten, a shrine out here. And then it has got uh, prayer wheels. Let me show you how it is the prayer wheels if they flow off the water so the water uh, spins the turbine and the turbine spins the prayer wheels you can see here so uh, this is the same way hydroelectricity is generated in the town with the fast flowing rivers of the town and I am here at uh, I think this is the Jimmy Namgi School Gate well, I'm praying that uh, I don't come across more dogs now, but then there's a dog near the gate. Well, if I go ahead, I could encounter more dogs, so I'm heading back again. I hope the dogs are gone from the this place. Uh, well, but then, no, they weren't. They are still barking. Uh, there and I'm going back to the longer way the dog at the school gate again almost bit me uh, I'm out here at Motitang school gate and then yeah, they have got a lot of messages for the COVID-19 protocols. Um, this is Motitang Higher Secondary School. Well guys, that's the BBS tower, the tower for Bhutan Broadcasting Service and it's quite a hot spot where people go out to enjoy the view of temple and uh, from there you can head towards Hajuding Monastery and then you can visit the beautiful lakes up there in Hajuding. So to visit the lakes you have to uh, Halt one night at Pajuting. And there's a hotel too around here. And oh, how did I forget this way? This path would have brought me here right here a few minutes ago. Uh, before reaching the school gate where I was attacked by the by a dog, I could have reached this way in a shortcut.
and there's open gym out here so if you want to keep your body fit you can use this gym facilities free of cost it's for the public by the government oh, covered by frost but then it's free of cost and you don't need to pay anything for this because it's for your own fitness let's go under the bridge and see what's there and here we have a trail path a new trail path for short hikes If you want to go to the Tarkin Preserve, this is the way uh, towards BBS Tower and then also towards the uh, Pajuting Monastery. Alright, now I'm heading down towards my home and it's bright sunny. Zooming in Hajuding Monastery. It's a very good hike if you go up there. But my zooming clarity is not good.
and I found a stick here the dogs are still waiting for me I don't know why these guys are crazy I went for a walk all the way up and I went around a lot and then I come back here and these guys are still here I don't know why these guys are so much after me so I have changed my lane and I'm walking at the other side of the road and these guys are still around I'm kind of a locked target now especially this black one this dog wouldn't go away and he's like uh, following me everywhere and he must be wanting to tell me don't worry mate I just want a chunk of you I met a taxi driver out here and he was hoisting prayer flags while talking to him the finally the dogs gave up on me and they went uh, towards their home and we are again back towards Animdratsam. It says Thong Thong Devachan Dukthap Nanari. It's a nanari. So let's zoom in and I'm going back now towards home. Finally, the morning walk for the day is over and it took me more than two hours due to the fear of dogs. I wandered here and there and finally I'm home. again today I'm here at Chang Bangdu I stayed here at friend's place and now I'm going for a walk look at this beautiful mountain peaks the sun rays are uh, on the first sun rays are on the snow peaks on the mountain tops That's Changjiji football ground and then Changjiji colony and you can see some mist up above the houses. The sun is rising and enjoy the scenario that's flyover bridge and I got some companies, some friends. Stupa, a big statue that we also know, call it as Buddha Point. 
that's Hindu temple above guys now I'm going back and that's flyover bridge and the trees are looking extraordinarily beautiful because the leaves have turned yellow uh, due to winter due to the cold and they look kind of golden <laughs> and these dogs are really playful My sister stays nearby here, so these uh, dogs know me and they are playful with me. And this one is playing with an empty bottle. Actually, you have to know one dog, make friends with one dog, and then they will be always protective of you and will always save you from the others.